We just got one more example, example, and we're almost done. So in this case, um, hmm, interesting, JJ. So I have cosine squared of x divided by 1 minus sine of x, all right? And one of the big mistakes a lot of students will look at this and say, oh, that 1 minus sine, I can do that's equal to cosine squared, right? Or cosine. Remember, those Pythagorean identities only work when we have a sine squared or a cosine squared, all right? And as of right now, another mistake students will do is they'll try to group the sine with the cosine and say, oh, it's just 1 over tan, 1 minus tangent. Remember, cosine, this whole thing is divided by 1 minus sine. So we can't break, we can't break it up um, across addition and subtraction. We can only break up our denominator across multiplication. So when I'm looking at this, um, what I'm going to want to do is think about, well, I need to be able to get this, Emily, into somehow I need to be able to transform the 1 minus sine squared. And to do that, I want, if I can convert this, if, I, if this was 1 minus sine squared, I could do something with this, right? But it's 1 minus sine. So how, what would I have to do to get this to be 1 minus sine squared? Yes? I can multiply by the conjugate. Because remember, the conjugate is going to be like your difference of two squares, right? So if I multiply by the conjugate, 1 plus the sine of x, if I multiply that on the top and the bottom, then on the top, I'm going to have cosine squared times 1 plus sine of x divided by 1 minus sine squared of x. Right? Because remember, when you multiply a number by its conjugate, this is the difference of two squares. 1 times 1 is 1. Negative sine times positive sine is going to be negative sine squared. And your middle terms are just going to cancel out. The middle and the outer terms just cancel out. So now I'm left with 1 minus sine squared. Well, how can I rewrite 1 minus sine squared? Remember, sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x equals 1. So if I subtract sine squared of x on both sides, I have cosine squared of x equals 1 minus sine squared of x. So now I can rewrite this as cosine squared of x. So if I rewrite that as cosine squared of x, now my cosine squareds divide out. And my last expression I have is just 1 plus sine of x. Just remember, when you multiply by your conjugate, you have to do it on the top and the bottom. Yes? No, um, that's cosine of x up there. Sorry. Okay.